This is Twit. Uh, Marty is on the line from Kalapana, Hawaii. Kalapana, Ana, Hala, Hala, Hawa. Hello, Marty. Where's which which island is Kalapana? Which island is Kalapana on? On the Big Island. The Big Island. I'm so jealous. Beautiful, beautiful. Which side? The south side um, of the Big Island. Is that the wet side? Yes, the the wet, the uh, the poor side, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. The poor side, wet side, <laughs> best side. side. How about we call it the best side? It is the best. Let side. those rich people stay in the dry side. I'm going to the best side. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I'm uh, sitting here with the phone next to my head. I hope I'll be okay. <laughs> um, you know, if you if you're gonna go, at least you're gonna go in paradise. Well, hopefully. So uh, here's my question: the um, many, as you know, many websites you go to have these uh, little messages uh, somewhere uh, about cookies. Yeah. And this particular one says. Uh, this site uses cookies, so now you know. And that's this is that's my site, TV. says that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, that's me being passive aggressive, by the way. <laughs> casting no aspersions on you. How do I know that when I see these warnings that they aren't put in the, uh, in the uh, browser window by a bad guy? And when you click on accept or... Well, any button you click, if there's a bad guy there, anything you do could be bad. Those, you know, that's a good point. Um, sites are required by the, it's not even by, it's not American regulation. It's a European regulation uh, that predates the GDPR, the, the General Data Protection Regulation uh, from Europe for privacy. It, it, in my opinion, the reason I'm passive aggressive about it is it's nonsense, it's nonsense, and the regulators who pass that law in the EU and enforce it are ju are just wasting our time. Every time we go to a website, there's another cookie banner, but you have to do it. The fines are huge. The cookies, what cookies are, same thing, you know when you're using a, a program and you save the settings? You have to save settings when you're using software. Otherwise, every time you went to Facebook, you'd have to log in. Otherwise, every time you went to your Gmail, you'd have to log in and tell it what folder you're in and all that stuff. Cookies are your settings. They're saved on your hard drive. Mm. They are not inherently bad for you. When they were designed, and they were designed by Mozilla uh, when they first came out with Netscape, they were designed uh, with privacy in mind, believe it or not. The cookies are designed in such a way that only the site that set the cookie can read it. So I go to Starbucks and save my favorite Frappuccino half-calf decaf with a twist. Starbucks remembers that. But when I go uh, over to Dunkin', they can't see that Starbucks cookie because it's not theirs. It's Starbucks. So that protects your privacy. But, you know, these, uh, these sites, they love to spy on you. And they, you know, because advertisers want this information. So sites figured out a way around it with something called third-party cookies. If I go, and you've seen this, if you go to a site that has the Facebook like button, you know, thumbs up, why do you think Facebook did that? They did that because now Facebook is on that page and can set a cookie. Facebook now knows you went to Starbucks. And by the way, if you then go to Dunkin' and there's a Facebook like button, they know you went to Dunkin'. They can read their own cookies. They still can't read the Starbucks or the Dunkin' cookies, but they still know you went to those sites. They can track you around the web. Uh, Facebook knows everything. And, and, of course, it was Facebook that invented this. But now everywhere you go, there are sign-on cookies from a Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple. And all of that, because it's just a little bit of code from those websites embedded on the Starbucks site, all of the... And I shouldn't blame Starbucks because, you know, anywhere you see these, all of those are there to track you. So everywhere there's a like button, Facebook knows I've you visited that site. So those are called third-party cookies. And those are, a, obviously, they're a privacy problem. All modern browsers have a switch, block third-party cookies. Unfortunately, the EU decided because of this, all cookies are bad. They're not. They're necessary. And most sites, for instance, my personal website, I use a cookie for one thing only. 
You could set it to light mode or dark mode. And I, as a convenience to you, the visitor, would like to remember that so the next time you visit, it could be in light mode or dark mode. Am I invading your privacy by doing that? No. I'm helping. I'm helping. And I don't have a Facebook button on there or anything else. So, but I still have to put a banner that says, yeah, I use a cookie. So what I'm at, on that side, the banner says, I use a cookie for your light and dark settings. And, and then there's a little loophole because... You don't have to do anything about it. Just say, okay, I have to let you know I'm using cookies. It is the biggest single waste of time in the world. Billions of clicks a day for no good reason. It does nothing. It saves you nothing. <laughs> it's just annoyance. And so I'm a little passive aggressive on our website. Yeah, like most other sites, very few sites don't use cookies. We use cookies. I almost, I, I used to, I, for a while I said get over it. But then I decided not to be so mean. Uh, you don't have to worry. There's not that's not malware. Clicking a button, look, clicking a button is is you know potentially risky anywhere, but it's not going to do anything. What you want to watch out for is if there were a banner that says, "Yeah, we use cookies. Give me your name, address, phone number, and credit card number, and I'll make sure you don't see this again." That would be a problem because yeah, you don't know where that came from. And the way the web is designed, it's possible to embed third party stuff, you know, on the web, and that's bad guys take advantage of that. But I. Do not fear. Uh, you are safe. You're certainly safe on my site. <laughs> it's a good question, though. Why do we I'm see these everywhere? About your site. I know other sites. I, I'm worried that that some nefarious site we use the same message, but the uh, when you click on OK, it will do something worse. Yeah, well, nothing. They can't really do anything with OK that they couldn't do without OK. In other words, that OK button is connected to some programming code called JavaScript. That JavaScript can run whether you press OK or not. So if a site's hacked, it's hacked. You know, they don't need a button. You're not giving them permission to do anything. It's, it's fine. If it's hacked, it's hacked. doesn't matter if there's a button. They can do whatever they want. So do not worry. Click the button if you want. Some sites, better than me, have a whole lot. They've spent a, month, a lot of money on code where you could say what kind of cookies we can use and all that. I'm not required to do it, so I don't. I think that's ridiculous. It's absurd. But it's a great, I'm really glad you asked. Um, now you can put the phone down. You don't have to keep it next to your head, but I'm glad you asked, Marty. Uh, but no, no nothing, nothing more harmful cooking, clicking the button than if you didn't click the button. That is not a risky thing to do. Clicking a link, going to another page, risky. Uh... Downloading something, risky. Filling out a form that says it's your bank, but it's not with your password, risky. But clicking a button's harmless.